So today we're going to talk about the Precision Matthews 940 mil a little bit. And I just wanted to have a chance here because I happen to have all three of the uh, Y slides for three different mills. And it's kind of hard to get a sense of perspective on the internet about how big and how small things are. And I kind of wish I had an RF45 uh, Y slide saddle, um, but I don't. So, But we have three saddles here. On the top, we have a G0704, which is almost identical to the PM25, which is the size it is. Uh, this Y uh, slide is the uh, Industrial Hobbies uh, IH mill. A lot of people call it the 12Z. And then this slide is the PM940. So just for comparisons, the PM is almost 18 inches across. The Industrial Hobbies is 14 and a half. And the G704 is 7. So I want to do it because I'm going to be putting the machines together so I'm not going to have uh, all these slides sitting around to actually look at all the time. But it's just a... I really like the slide. And if you look also on the uh, actual castings where the dovetails sit, the dovetails on the 940 are almost 10 inches across at the top and the industrial hobbies is eight and that's actually wider than the uh, rf45s too the rf45s i think are like seven so it's each one you got like a different size of mills and then the g704 is four and a quarter and i think the uh pm25 is actually a little wider in this one because the y slides are uh, a little bit different on them. But the top sections are almost the same. So I just thought it was kind of interesting to see, you see a sense of scale of how big the difference is in the size of the mills. So now this is the x-axis of the uh, 940 mil, and it's pretty much all done now. So I got the x-axis done, I'll do some once I start doing some backlash testing and stuff on it, I'll show it. It has NEMA 34 mounts. We've got an extra little uh, bearing mount there. And it's all actually ready to go. So, But as soon as I get the motor uh, set on there and ready to go, I'll do a little video of it too. And then we'll be off to doing the Y-axis. Thank you, guys.